Good morning. I'm here with the Understanding Project, and today I'm going to be talking with uh, Mr. Ricky Young. Uh, good morning, Ricky. How are you doing? I'm good, Scott. How are you this morning? I'm doing great. Hey, I'm really, really excited about uh, getting to talk to you this morning and uh, hearing your uh, perspective on, on some of the issues and getting to know you a little better. Okay. Um, start out, uh, let's just, just tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, my name's Ricky Young. I was born December 3rd, 1957 in Gainesville, Georgia in Hall County Hospital <laughs> before Northeast Georgia Medical Center. Um, and uh, retired after 40 years in education in 2019, but if anybody was to ask me where I'm from, I would say out the road <laughs> in Gainesville. Um, and of course, I know Shannon because we taught together at Gainesville High School, which is where I spent my last 15 years teaching. And I am a Gainesville native. I'm, my parents were Grover and Estelle Young, and I'm the youngest of four sons. My daddy was a... a an undertaker, a mortician, and my mom was a school teacher. Okay, was that was that both uh, here in Gainesville as well? That was in Gainesville. From the time I was born until the time I went off to Furman University after graduating from East Hall High School, I lived in the same house in Gainesville. Okay, awesome. So what was, uh, so you were, so you were born in 57, so you were growing up in the late 60s. Uh, you know, you kind of went through your teenage years, I guess, in the, the late 60s through the, through the mid-70s. So uh, okay. tell me what that was like. Well, I guess my teenage years were the 70s. And, well, when I was born in Gainesville, Gainesville was a segregated city. Um, so... I grew up on Gainesville's south side, on the black side of town. Um, everybody on the our side of town went to Fast Street Elementary or, and high school, I guess it was when I first started out, but um, went to Fast Street Elementary School, graduated from Green Hunter Nursery School, which was at 240 Atlanta Street. Street. Um, but as far as understanding and race relations were concerned, we had, on our side of town, we had our side of town. We would go to town um, and life was segregated, but that's the way it was. At the beginning, um, I lived through integration. I went to Fair Street from first grade until uh, fifth grade and my grade, my sixth grade year, um, they integrated the county elementary schools. They, well, the, the rest of the elementary school, I guess it was. They phased in integration. <laughs> um, so I know about that part of, of what happened in history. So what was, what was that like? How was, um, you say they phased it in, was it just like a, a few uh, a few grades levels went over from i guess from like 60 7 to 1969 different grade levels started integrating the county school system and and Gainesville city school system um so at sixth grade, I went to New Holland Elementary. And so went to New Holland from sixth grade through eighth grade because it went through the eighth grade. Um, so at that, at previously had New Holland been a, a white uh, elementary school or middle school? Right, right. Any, any educational institutions that were not uh, well, in my day and time, Fast Street and Butler High related were white schools. And very few, there were a few black folks who integrated prior, 
in that same time period that were in different grades, but most folks didn't integrate until it was mandated by whatever the structure was that said these grades will go to integration in this year. Then it Gainesville and Hall County fully integrated in 1969. So with the 1969-1970 school year, um, they closed Butler High School at the, at the end of the 69 school year. So after that, there was complete integration of the school systems for so, Gainesville and Hall County. So when that integration took place, um, what was that like? Do you remember, do you remember, um, you know, how you felt the, the first, the first day of school and integration? I think the first day of school, everybody, I, you're talking about from a racial relationship and about the tensions. By the time my grade went, there were already seven and eighth graders that had gone before. So there was, it wasn't that big of a deal from a kid's perspective. We were, going to a new school and it was the first day of school like it had been the first day of school all them other years. Um, I don't know. I think at New Holland, they, they took great efforts to make sure that everybody felt comfortable in school. So there, I don't remember experiencing a whole lot of racial tension between students or whatever else. I know when the city the big issue had been the fact that the Butler High was one of the newest structures that had only opened in 62. So it was one of the newest high school that had air conditioning, it was partly carpeted, it, so it was a state-of-the-art facility. Um, and for it to have been open that short a period of time and to be closed um, wasn't something that a lot of folks appreciated a whole lot in the black community because it was our school. Um, okay. And yeah. Good. Well, that's awesome. It sounds like, um, you know, for the most part, things went, went fairly smoothly. Uh, they did. All things considered. That is great. Yeah. Um, so you said you, uh, and I assume that for the most part, it was kind of that way all the way through high school, no issues for the most part. And then uh, you said you went away. You there, went there, there would be issues that would happen periodically, but nothing that wasn't handled. Um, but anyway, go ahead. I'll let you ask your question. No, 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 you go ahead. Well, there, all through school, I think we had been prepared to integrate uh, and coming to know new people and new ways of seeing and doing things, we offered as much as we learned and um, we got along well. I'm a teacher's child, so I know about that whole process. I can remember when the first white teachers came in and the first black teachers went out and it was, a, I guess they had their plan or whatever as to how they were going to implement it. And they carried it out and, it, and it, it worked. I will tell you, I will say, growing up in the black communities, you came to know who your allies were and who your enemies were. And um, everybody that wanted, things to be better, work toward it, trying to be better. And there were people who had issues, but I think we were a lot more tolerant, patient, accepting, willing to work at making understanding and integration work. I, that's the way I felt about it at the time. There were a lot of people, um, who were looking forward to the opportunity to, to fully integrate into American society. 
we oh. had our own stuff, but the idea of being limited wasn't um, acceptable, I guess. So it was a good thing, I thought. Oh, that is that is great. 